Even though we specialize in training materials for the professional woodworking industry, we know that our techniques can benefit anyone. Take full advantage of this by signing up at woodproacademy.com. There you'll get full access to this tutorial, but you'll also get the full project downloads. You'll greatly accelerate your learning if you work along with the video. So go sign up at woodproacademy.com. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your video. And we'll see you soon. So we're just going to go from top to bottom down these toolbars and mark up some stuff. Now, you know, I used this part of the countertop to create my toolbars, so naturally that snapped right into place, right? Not going to be so lucky on this one, but let's pick a point to start with, and then we're just going to grab these grips. and rearrange it. Oh, you know what? Stop right there. It's always good practice to make sure your, your drawing is calibrated before you start doing any kind of measurement, okay? And so come over here, make sure things are calibrated before you get too far in, all right? It, that's a good practice to always check your calibration. I have a tendency to go a little heavy on these, you know, plus or minus an inch or two. I'd rather be on the plus side, I guess. So that's our area. Perimeter. I'm going to go long on this and I'm going to measure a little bit extra for going around this column. Right there. Okay. Finished ends. Side splashes. We don't have any on this. Special corner treatment. We'll do that corner. Field notch. We're going to have to cut around that column. Filled joints, we'll have two of those, and we'll have one sink cut out. With all of these kitchen type markups complete, I want to select them all. I want to come over to my properties tab, and I should have custom fields now. I want to say K1 for kitchen type K1. And what that does is it applies it, it's going to allow me to organize all of my markups just by that kitchen type okay let's keep going I do my kitchen vanities Same thing. I'm going to grab all of these. I'm going to say V1. All right. Now there's only one kitchen 
type that's different. So let's do that and then I'll let you do the rest on your own. And don't forget, each type, we need to change our, our tag over here, our data. So this is going to be K2, second kitchen type. And now I'm going to let you do the rest of this. Okay, and so pause here, do the, do the rest. And when we meet back up, we will organize this data, put it into our spreadsheet, and wrap up with our estimate. Well, we hope you benefited from this quick tutorial. Uh, don't forget that you can go sign up and get access to this full tutorial and many more. It's free for now, so be sure you head over there and take full advantage of this. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon at woodproacademy.com.